Okay, so I'm going to go over how to change your password for your hotspot. Um, if you were using Master Brand Meister Master 3101, you may already have, you may be too late. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully that isn't the case. Hopefully you don't run into the issues that I've ran into where I had to completely reflash my hotspot. But you shouldn't have to do that. Uh, you should be good to go. So, uh, okay. So you're going to start out by coming here to brandmeister.network. And you'll pretty much be presented with this. If you have never been here before, if you don't have anything set up, you need to go to register. I'll just kind of blow through it real quick. So you're going to put your call sign in. You're going to put your email address in. You're going to choose personal user account because you're a hotspot. You're going to put in a password. This is not the password that you're putting into your hotspot. This is totally different. Uh, 70, your DMR ID. You'll check the I'm not a robot. You'll click on register. They will send you an email and they will, you'll confirm your email and then you'll be able to log in. So, Alrighty. So you need to click on login. And yours is going to look different than mine when it's all said and done. Because I have hotspots, I've got repeaters, things like that. So yours may look different. Okay, so mine pre populated, but you'll put your call sign, your password in, and you'll click login. I'm going to pause this for just a second. Okay, so once you've logged in, you might see this. You might see your hotspots. I don't know. You'll see something there. Uh, it may be the dashboard, for all I know. It'll probably look like this. Okay, so you're going to come up here to your call sign. You're going to click on that. You're going to come down to self-care. Okay. Yours will probably look something like this. Uh, don't know. But the important thing is right here. Hotspot security. You're going to turn that on. And you're going to type in your password. What I did is I copied it. I typed it into Notepad so that I could see what it was. Copied it from there. And I'm pasting it in here. That way it's done. I'm good. I don't have to worry about it. Um, and that way I know that I've got it right. Because you have to have it right here. It has to match up here in your hotspot or else you won't be able to do anything. So you'll click Save. Um, I've got these stupid password managers that pop up, so it'll be an annoyance. Okay. So anyways, you're done with done with Brandmeister. Okay, you can log out, you can uh, close the window, whatever you have to do. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to log in to your hotspot. If you have an open spot, it's different. I don't know how to do it. I can't show you. Um, so you're going to go to the IP address of your hotspot. If you have the OLED screen on there, It'll show you the IP address. Uh, you may have to transmit on your radio to, to activate it. 
but it'll show your IP address. If you don't have an LED screen on there, you're probably going to have to log into your router. You're probably going to get the IP address from there. I'm not going to show you how to do that because everybody's router is different. So that won't work. Okay. You're going to click configuration. Yours will prompt you. Mine may not because I've already been on here. Yours is going to prompt you for a username password. The username is PiStar, P-I-S-T-A-R, all small letters. The password is Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, all small letters, unless you've changed that password, in which case it's whatever you changed it to. Yours should look something like this. Uh, yours will probably be a simplex node. You may or may not have an OLED screen. None of this matters. That's all right. <clears throat> if you do not see this or anything there, you're going to run into a problem. Um, you may have BM3101 there, you might have 3102, you might have 3103, you might have, who knows. Okay. Hotspot security. Uh, I'm going to close that. You don't need that. Okay. So this is where you paste in the password that you just put into Brandmeister. Okay. If you've not done this, set it to 02, set it to 04, something. A number that you're not using on your radios. Here's the thing. You have your DMRID. Mine is the 3105989. My radio is using that. My Anytone is using that. Uh, if I have a second radio, it's probably going to be using something else. I have to make sure that I set this DMR ESSID to something that I'm not using. That way, it doesn't cause problems down the road. Okay. So you put your password in, you click Apply Changes. And again, my annoying password manager comes up. Mine takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause it. Uh, it takes a little bit because I'm recording. Okay, so what you didn't see was where it said stopping services, applying changes, starting services. Now I'm back here. It still has my password in there. Okay. So. We're going to go to Dashboard, I'm on Parrot right now, W0PCD testing 1233321. Okay, so it's done. It's successful. I was able to get onto Parrot. I was able to get back from Parrot. We're not done. We're going to go to, I think it's under admin. I might be wrong. Nope, it's under configuration. All right, so we're going to come up here to backup and restore. You're going to click this download configuration. 
click right here on this. We see it turns into a box. And just choose the default. Save it. And it should be done already. There you go. It's done. You need that because if you ever have to reflash this, if you ever have to, if you change it, something like that, this is what's going to get you back on the air the quickest. If you need to restore it, you're going to click Choose File. You're going to choose that file, click open, and then you're going to click on this. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to restore. But you'll click it, it'll turn into a box, and then it'll go to a window where it says that it uploaded everything. Okay. That's all you have to do.